Hello and welcome back to, I'm not sure what we're calling this, Computex 2024 Day Zero. Let's put that on the thumbnail. Um, we've been going through each of the floors here at the trade show in order to find out just exactly what we're going to be seeing coming out of big tech. Let's face it, if you're watching this channel, chances are you're more interested in storage and networking. And I'll say right now, Things are a bit middly. Right now, I think if you look across the majority of the tech industry, you do find that hardware tech is taking less of a primary focus and a lot more on that software optimization. But if I had to say one thing that was being heavily focused on here at the event, it's chuffing AI. Whether it is they're doing it for marketing spiel or doing it because there's some genuine innovation, you cannot move around this whole expo for the subject of AI. It is frigging everywhere and in some cases I would argue it's being used just a tad liberally but let's talk about some of the solutions that we're going to be looking at following uh, the following few days. If I just talk about the one thing that really stood out more than anything other, and there will be a dedicated video on this, is over at the Fison stand. Now, I could wax lyrical about their DRAMless Gen 5 controller. We already talked about that last year. I could talk about that native USB 4 controller that we're going to touch on next week. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about uh, the massive Gen 5 x 16 card filled to the brim with Fison 12 gig SSDs. That's 12 gig rig, 12 gig right. And this system was cranking out an unbelievable performance number. And we're able to see them outputting 56 gigabytes per second sequential read and 54 gigabytes per second sequential write. We are talking near total saturation. There are the IOPS for those that care, the 4K read and write IOPS were 20 million over 19 million. But chances are as a follower of this channel, you're more interested in NAS. I get it. If we were to talk about one of the big NAS brands here on the channel uh, that we talk about a lot, QNAP, they do have their own big stand and we'll be visiting them later in the week. But I'd say right now, their focus is largely on software and utilities more than hardware. They don't have that much new hardware kit here at the show or at least what I could see from their stand unless they're keeping something up their sleeve for later but I will say they're doubling down on a lot of those software utilities their surveillance again AI stuff and on top of that a lot of their cloud-based services a lot of their file management services and I think although that's not that exciting I think a lot of us have to at least admit that one of the biggest criticisms a lot of us have about QNAP has always been that they're always focused on the hardware more than the software and at least this year they seem to be readdressing that balance significantly another big planned release that we've already talked about before it was great to finally see it in the flesh was Acer Store and the Flash Store Gen 2 and the Lock Store Gen 3 series fully populated uh, with drives they're going to be showing off these systems both in video editing packages just to show you the utility of using those flash servers with the dual 10 GPU ports but also gaming services as well i'm not sure how many users actually would want to use a nas system for gaming it is out there you know fill it up with your steam library but still kind of surprised by that being a focus it's not the first time they've done it but still nonetheless it was great to see it in person and the fact that they're also going to be showing off several of their new switches now we've already really vaguely talked about the switch and store uh, the uh, I believe it was five plus one or the eight plus one I should say uh, the eight times two point five GBE and one times ten GBE SFP but there's actually a larger intended range coming out from them and although I can't talk about some of the items because they're still not sure if some of them are too work in progress for the show I will say it is a whole intended range it looks like they are aiming towards and I hope they're going to show all of them off at the show we will be touching on different NAS vendors and indeed larger scale server vendors at the hyperscale later this week as we cover the show. Um, again, there are other brands that we've talked about here at the show. Ugreen, for example, that big crowdfunding system that we talked about, again, they've been around in the market. I think Ugreen have been at the show in different capacities with docking stations and power adapters and stuff like that. But seeing them showing off their NAS system is once again a nice reassuring feeling that they're not just dipping a toe in and leaving this market. There's something of a longer term roadmap and plan. The person I spoke to there did say they're going to be showing off some newer features of the software. I believe that if I see it, if I see it, but still nonetheless, it was a good promise and a good thing to know that it might happen. But on top of that, all of the different systems were on show. And I think a few users have already been in contact with me already that they are due to receive their Ugreen units this week. They've got the tracking information. I think even some users may have received them by the time you're watching this video, which is nice to hear. Uh, we will be, of course, talking more about the setup of that when we return here from Taipei. But nonetheless, they are coming out in force showing off their NAS systems here at the show. As mentioned, I will be going through some of the lesser known server brands later in the week that we've seen here at Computex. But 
when they weren't championing Gen 5 uh, rack mounts, which by the way, last year we talked about the first Gen 5 rack mount, that was from QNAP, a more commercial grey one at least, uh, or SMB. Now we're seeing them all over the place. Gen 5 flash servers from multiple brands, but probably one of the loudest stands and one of the ones you're going to hear the most about in Computex coverage from most of your review outlets is going to be Gigabyte with their enormous stand that is wall to wall to wall to wall servers. They are all over the place. The number of flash servers, hard drive servers, their traditional SATA, NVMe, U.2, U.3, E1, uh, E1S, E3S, they are everywhere. So I am looking forward to going back to that stand when setup is completed. It looks like they have got a bevy of larger scale, presumably hyperscale solutions in mind. But I think I'm going to wrap things up there. We are going to talk, of course, more about this throughout the course of the week. But on top of that, this Synology Solution Exhibition that's happening uh, or starting tomorrow for the majority of the week. And it does look like going through their preview teaser video that we talked about a few days ago, that we're going to see a lot of their solutions, which arguably are going to go to the hyperscale. They're going to go towards the large unified storage crowd, which I know isn't for everyone. Hopefully, when we go and see this, their events, uh, the whole exhibition, maybe there's going to be a little bit of something for home and SMB. We'll have to wait and see. But this has been Copytex 2024 Day Zero. I hope you stay with me for the rest of the week as we cover this. And apart from that, have yourselves a fantastic week.